I apologize for not being able to greet you often as I've been managing two YouTube channels lately, which has taken a toll on my health. Despite the challenges, I've discovered numerous mods that I'm excited to share with you in this video. I've categorized them into five sections, covering everything from gameplay to visuals. I'll be introducing a total of 20 must-have mods, so please watch until the end. If you enjoy the content, consider subscribing, liking, and hitting the notification bell. Now, without further ado, let's dive right in. First, let me introduce you to some mods related to gameplay. I have a few mods I'd like to share with you. First up is Nimatronic Apocalypse. This mod combines the worlds of Fallout and Five Nights at Freddy's. It introduces many Fazbear faction enemies suitable for a new start or endgame. Numerous workshop decorations await unlocking, and you can discover, collect, and use many new things in the Commonwealth. The mod adds quirky enemies wearing distinctive masks or resembling Hummerus robots generated in a random encounter format. It also supports music tracks, workshop items, and quests, including various items for you to explore. Feel free to check it out if you're interested. Next up is Improved Railroad. This mod enhances the Railroad faction, giving it more of a spy-like feel. It adds Railroad-exclusive weapons for Assault Rifles, Combat Rifles, and Goss Rifles. Glory is now an actual synth, and upon her death, she'll have synth components in her inventory. The mod introduces legendary variations for Railroad NPCs, improves AI, and overall enhances the Railroad faction. Additionally, it brings new high-level NPCs, such as Captain, Porter, Foreman, and Pointsman, along with new random encounters providing a more enriched experience with the improved railroad. Next up is Detailed Bunkers. This mod transforms the bunkers in the Commonwealth into more enclosed spaces. The original bunkers often felt less secure with all the windows open and even entrances exposed. The creator addressed this by adding curtains to bunker windows, sealing entrances, and introducing ventilation, enhancing the overall bunker atmosphere. Next up is the You Are Exceptional Skills and Perk Overhaul. This mod enhances Fallout 4's skill and perk system. Serving as a successor to Be Exceptional and You Are Special, this mod is much more expansive and features a personal twist. It boasts 26 skills and over 220 perk lines, with the majority being custom designed. With an increased number of perks, your playstyle is likely to become more diverse. Explore the enriched and diversified perk system to add richness and variety to your Fallout 4 gameplay. In this segment, I'd like to introduce several mods related to weapons. Firstly, the Attachment Pack. This mod adds new attachments to almost every weapon in Fallout 4, offering over 400 new attachments. It allows you to alter both the appearance and functionality of your weapons. For instance, you can attach a drum magazine to an SMG, use Watts components on a laser rifle, or enhance a pipe gun with more aesthetically pleasing parts. Additionally, you have the option to attach elemental damage mods to weapons like the radium rifle or other firearms, or use new ammo types for weapons like the Fat Man or Shotgun. This mod is compatible with all animation and remesh mods, using textures suitable for both vanilla and retexture mods. It's craftable, and the creator plans to make it applicable to weapons found in the game world. If you find it appealing, give it a try. Next up is MW2023, BASB. This mod adds the BASB Assault Rifle from Modern Warfare 2023 to Fallout 4. It introduces a powerful and easily customizable assault rifle that delivers performance and reliability, suitable for various situations. The weapon supports fake through scopes and tactical reload, and it's considered one of the top rifles, providing custom sounds and high quality audio. Next up is the Sig Sauer P320 M17. This handgun is a modular, semi-automatic pistol, manufactured by the subsidiary of Sig Sauer Inc. in the United States. Adopted as the M17 pistol by the US military, it features custom animations and sounds, presenting a fully customizable model, making it a quite useful handgun. 
Next up is another one, 6P62. This weapon is a handheld HMG known as the 6P62, used by security personnel of the Soviet diplomatic corps before the Cold War. Utilizing a 50 caliber ammunition, the gun provides a hefty and substantial feel, with pronounced weightiness from drawing the weapon to the booming gunfire and significant recoil. It exudes a vibe reminiscent of World War II weaponry. With its noteworthy appearance and quality, I wanted to introduce it to you. Give it a try if it piques your interest. Next up is Heavy Incinerator Redux. This massive weapon, resembling a minigun, fires projectiles akin to Skyrim's fireballs. It's a weapon that combines an automatic launcher with incendiary and explosive capabilities, dealing flame and explosive damage to the target. If you have a penchant for flamethrowers, give this weapon a try. Next up is Modern Apocalypse Things M4A1. This mod faithfully reproduces the iconic M4A1 rifle from American history in the world of Fallout. The gun has a weathered and battle-hardened appearance, offering a tactical yet lore-friendly addition. Note that this mod requires the Nuka World DLC and starts appearing in the world at level 20. In this segment, I'll introduce several outfit mods. There are a few that I'd like to showcase. Firstly, the SOA suit. This outfit mod, created by Kim1983, features a retro-style suit that blends well with the world of Fallout 4. Originally designed for women, there's a separate version converted for men by another creator, making it suitable for both genders. It can be crafted at the chemistry station, and the female version is an excellent bodysuit outfit that supports body slide. Next up is the Kim hairstyle mod. This mod adds various hairstyles to your character, allowing you to create more beautiful female characters. While my custom race made my character's head a bit large for this mod, it seems to work well for the vanilla Nora race, making it an excellent addition. Next up is the Coco KDA AO Ari Evelyn outfit. Created by the modder Coco, this outfit offers a unique costume set based on Ari and Evelyn from League of Legends. Originally from Skyrim, it seems to have been ported to Fallout 4. It supports CBBE body slide, and you can acquire the outfit through the Chemistry Bench or in-game ESP Explorer. In this segment, I'll introduce crafting and visual-related mods, primarily focusing on the modern series. Firstly, we have the Browning M2, the Modus turret. This mod allows you to create the powerful mid-century machine gun designed by John Browning during the late stages of World War I, known as the Browning M2 Medus turret in Fallout 4 settlements. With its formidable firepower, this turret can be a great addition to fortify your settlements. Additionally, there's the Oppressor's Nuka Cola Replacer, which replaces the Commonwealth's Nuka Cola with a new 3D model and high-quality textures. The Modern Replacer Chems and Medicine series is another noteworthy mention, enhancing the appearance of in-game chemicals into realistic-looking drugs. For those interested in tools, there's the Adjustable Wrench Replacer. This mod swaps the default adjustable wrench in Fallout 4 with a new 3D model and 2K textures, improving the detail and realism of the wrench. Experience a more immersive Fallout 4 by enhancing the visual aspects of Commonwealth items with these mods. Thank you for joining me in exploring the must-have new Fallout 4 mods as we wrap up the year 2023. If you enjoyed discovering these exciting additions to the game, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Stay tuned for more gaming adventures, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy modding!